What's up YouTube? Does well beats back with another video. If this your first time to the channel, is always welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. And to my subscribers, appreciate y'all guys. Thank you. Thanks everybody. All right. Today video is going to be for the beginners. People that's just picking up the MPC and don't know where to go, where to start. This right here will help you start to make your first beat. All right, let's go. Let's get it. All right, so when you first open up the NPC, the first thing you need to do is come here to the hamburger menu. I call it hamburger menu because it looked like a burger inside two buns. All right, so you go to view, go to view, and go to workspace, go to advance. Another thing I like to do, the sequence, have a menu, track, have a menu program do have a menu but when you go into your um bst plugins that's when you can access the menu for your programs for your plugins all right programs plugins all right so let's go back here to program the drum program this is where you get your samples your drums your percussions your hi-hats your anything that you need one shot to create your drum pattern and stuff like that that's you come right here right over here right here is your programs here is your samples presets and stuff and sequences where you get your um, MIDI notes and stuff but for right now let's deal with the programs and samples right so let's just pick <laughs> So it's two ways to add it. You can either drag this and drop it on A1, then you'll get all of them. Let's drop it and you'll see it. Okay. Now, the second way to do it, let's delete that. The second way to do it is just double click on your um, program. And it will send it all in your bay. But then you'll notice it's not on your drum pad. So you're wondering where to get it. Make sure you're on your drum pad. At your programs. Hit the, the drop down menu. And it's right here. And then it'll add it to your pad. Okay. That's for your drum programs. And your drums. Alright. So let's go ahead and hit record. Or overdub. Get used to hitting overdub instead of hitting record hit overdub and then play from start because sometimes you hit record and then play what if you hit all right let's go ahead and show you if i hit record and and play from start i can always add something when it's the first thing i'm adding record start All right, so if I do that and say I want to add this sound, if I hit record again and hit play, it's going to erase whatever I did already. Look, see it's erasing it. So now, so now the first thing I did got erased. That's because I hit record twice. I hit record to record the first sound, and then I hit record to record the second sound. You don't want to do that because it will erase whatever you did first. What you need to hit is overdub. Overdub. See, now I have that. Now I'm going to go back and play this. But I'm going to hit overdub, which is right here overdub 
you never want to hit record Get, don't hit record unless you're recording vocals that's the only time you want to hit record is when you're recording vocals when you're recording like making your track and your drums and your sounds and your all that you want to make sure you hit overdub and then hit play from start because if you hit overdub and just play it will start playing from right here it will start recording from right here if you hit overdub and play from start which is right here overdub and play from start then the playhead will go to start and start recording from here all right so that's the whole thing right there where some people is sending um asking me how to record because when they record there's deleting some of their stuff so that's how you do that right there right and this was for your drum program and any program that you're using get used to using overdub and play from start all right so now we're going to show you using overdub now so we're going to hit overdub and don't hit the screen play because it's going to start playing from here you want to hit play from start and then we're going to add this sound again and you're going to see that it, it records both of them all right so let's go ahead and hit overdub and let's hit play from start which is this one not the green one Are uh, you see? So now both of them is there because I hit overdub. All right. So that's your drum program. In the next video, I'm going to show you the key group program. So that's just the basics for your drum program. All right. Is there anything else I'm missing? Yes. If you have, say you have this sound right here. All right, let's go. Nah. Let's go here. This sound right here, right? If you want to layer that sound, what you can do is you go to your samples, find any sound that you want to layer it with. So we're going to layer that with that. What you do on your, your keyboard, you hold shift, left click this while holding shift and drop. You see the red line? You drop it right there. Now you got a layered. So now that's two sounds you have on that one pad. All right. Catch you in the next video. Next video is going to be key group. That's it. If it's your first time to the channel, welcome. My subscribers, thank you. Appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you're watching without subscribing, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. All right, let's go.